welcome to another weekend reading vlog. So earlier in the week I did post a poll on my YouTube community page with a list of potential vlog themes and the most popular one by the end of the week was the contemporary romance reading vlog. So I basically pulled a whole bunch of contemporary romance books off my TBR cart and that's the plan to read as many as I can this weekend. Bonus, it's actually a long weekend here in Melbourne, so I might actually get some things done. But I thought I would show you the books that I have pulled off the TBR cart. I may swap them out, I may pick up some things on my Kindle, but at the moment this is what I'm planning on reading. So I would like to read You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogle. I know this one has mixed reviews, but it's been sitting on my cart for a while, so I want to read it. This one, I don't know if it fits the vlog, but I'm going to try and just knock it out anyway. And that is Love Unscripted by Owen Nichols. I've heard that this is not technically a romance, but let's just try and read it. I also have The Boyfriend Effect by Kendall Ryan. This came in a subscription box. I don't know much about it. I have Love Lettering by Kate Claiborne, and I've heard good things about this one, so this one I really, really want to get to. And then another option, so all of these are options, who knows how many I'll actually get to, is Follow Me Darkly by Helen Hart, which is, I think, a BDSM-ish type story. I can't remember. Definitely a billionaire story, but I don't know what the rest is going to be. I also have a stack of other things that I could read, like the next two books in the Romance Book Club and other bits and pieces, but I thought I would pick up some things that I probably wouldn't normally reach for for this vlog to give it a bit of variety. It is Friday night and I do need to jump in the shower in a minute because it's been a long day, but I have a whole lot of mail that either arrived or, or I picked up today. So I thought I would do a quick haul. There's books and essential oils and clothing and all sorts of things. So I'll do that and then I'll jump in the shower and then I'm gonna start reading and I'm gonna decide which book I'm gonna read first. Essentially, there's all of this. So let's start unpacking some of it. From Booktopia, I ordered Phosphorescence by Julia Bard, which was mostly because it is a stunning, stunning cover. I don't actually know anything about it. I think it's like a self-help book, but it's really pretty and I wanted it. I also picked up this brick in hardcover because, you know, it matches the rest of the series and I will read it at some point. And also two picture books, Macca's Makeover, because my class loves Macca. I love Macca too. And this is the newest one. And who doesn't love a book that's all about a makeover? And also The Fire Wombat by Jackie French, which... I'm looking forward to reading. So there is this package from Hello Lovely. I got the Books Are My Love Language t-shirt in black and I'm thinking I'm going to, I'm going to cut the top of this t-shirt but I'm really happy with that. It's lovely. There are also these Hello Lovely pins. The first one says read what makes you happy. All right so there is read what makes you happy proud romance reader and also read books be kind stay weird. Speaking of pins, my Smart Women Read Romance pin arrived and I'm really excited to put this one on my jean jacket and wear it everywhere. I also ordered another t-shirt. This is, I can't even remember where I got it from. I just Googled it and it is, teaching is a walk in the park. And I totally blame Kirsty for even showing me this print and then, you know, prompting me to buy it because what teacher doesn't need this in their life? I'm really looking forward to wearing this to work. I would like to do the off-the-shoulder thing, but I can't technically wear that to work, so I don't know yet. Three of the books from the Innkeeper Chronicles arrived. So there is Clean Sweep, which is book one, Sweep of the Blade, which is the fourth book, and Sweep With Me, which is 3.5, and is a little novella one, but I'm really happy with them. They look fantastic, and I can't wait to put them on my shelf. I also received two unsolicited YA books. There is Off the Map by Scott Gardner. I don't know anything about this. And also Mirror's Edge by Scott Westerfeld, which is the third book in the spin-off of the Uglies series. I've read book one, but I haven't read book two, so I don't know if I'm actually going to get to this one, but yeah, we shall see. All right, I'm freshly showered and haven't brushed my hair yet, and I also haven't turned on any lights, so the lighting is really terrible, but that's okay because I'm going to start reading The Boyfriend Effect, and we'll see how we go. This is my first Kendall Ryan book. All right. I finished The Boyfriend Effect. It's probably like a three and a half out of five star book, which is totally fine. So it is about Hayes, who is a bit of a commitment phobe, and he's been in love with his best friend's sister for a long time. And one day he is asked by his best friend to go and check on his sister, who's not feeling well, and things sort of start spiraling from there. And Marin is a really lovely character, actually. 
she works in a, in a retirement home and the retirement home is losing funding so she and Hayes work together to put on a fundraiser for it that's very successful. Yeah, they spend more time together and start dating and sleeping together. So it's that kind of contemporary romance. But it was fun, easy to read, didn't take very long to get through at all. So I've kicked off this weekend reading vlog successfully. I am probably not going to read another book tonight. I think I'm just going to watch The Expanse. So I did finish season five earlier in the week and now I've just decided to rewatch it from the start because I love this show so much. So I'm gonna mix that up with my reading. But book one, done. Hi guys, happy Saturday. It's 12 o'clock and I've just gotten home. I got up early, I did my Pilates class at eight and then I sort of came home, had a shower and I rushed off to one of the shopping centers because I wanted to buy some dresses from a review and I'm really happy with what I got. And while I spent a bit of money, but because I spent so much money, I actually got $150 off. So I've got two new dresses and two new tops and I couldn't be happier. But I did start a new book and it's not one of the books from my list. I ended up starting It's Been a Pleasure Noni Blake, which is a book that a friend on Instagram had recommended to me. It's an Australian fiction story, but there is going to be a bit of a romance in it. And it's about a bisexual main character who is trying to find herself and trying to find what she wants in life. And it's been great so far. I'm listening to the audio and reading it on my Kindle. So I'm hopefully going to get that out in the next couple of hours. And then I might pick up one of the other physical books from the list from yesterday. Hi guys, it is Saturday evening and I just finished It's Been a Pleasure at Noni Blake by Claire Christian. And it was really really fun it's not technically a romance although it does have a happily ever after and there is a romance in it look it probably falls into one of those two categories of fiction that i refuse to acknowledge exist because their very titles really piss me off but we'll go with it's a contemporary fiction story that has a romance in it and it is delightful because it is about a mid-30s woman who happens to be a teacher so you know we're not drawing any parallels to my life here at all who is at a crossroads and doesn't really know what to do with her life and and a series of events lead up to her going on this trip overseas and she thinks she's going there for one purpose and when all of that falls apart she ends up on a completely different journey finding different people who she connects with and it's about whether or not she believes enough in herself and in what she's found to pursue it and I just, I loved it. It was great. The audiobook was fantastic, although I only listened to it for the first half of the book because it was actually slowing me down. I just decided to keep reading it on my own and I got through it really quickly. I will give some content warnings for the book. Uh, it does deal with death sort of tangentially. It also deals with IVF treatments and also miscarriage. So be aware of that going into it. There is also a scene of cheating, but it is not the main character's responsibility and she doesn't know about the situation or when it occurs. From that perspective, I was able to get through it without it being as cringeworthy for me as I would have thought. But overall, I really enjoyed this. I gave it four out of five stars. Great Australian contemporary fiction story. Loved the romance. The hero was amazing. And I can't remember if I said this at the start of, the, of talking about this book, but the heroine is bisexual. And throughout the book, she has relationships with both men and women. And it's just great. And there are many, many open sex scenes. There's very few closed doors in this book and it was just delightful. Okay, it's Sunday and I'm in my room, but I just want to show you my dress that I bought yesterday, which I love. Everything's a mess, I need to tidy it, but I do love my new dress, especially with my gold shoes. Hi everyone, so it's now like 7.15 p.m. on Sunday night and I've read one page of love lettering because it turns out when you have to go to a 60th birthday that um, the day gets away from you. So I went to my grandmother's house to have high tea for my aunt's 60th and then we just got home about 6.30 and I really needed to go for a walk. I hadn't done any exercise for the day. So I went for a walk. I'm gonna go and jump in the shower. I've just watered all of the plants because it's quite muggy and humid here. It's actually really gross. And then I'm gonna sit down and read because I really don't feel like eating anything because I'm full. Hi friends. So I have like this much left of love lettering but I think I'm gonna stop and watch some expanse for tonight. I am really enjoying this. It is a very nice contemporary fiction story about a woman who has her own hand lettering business and she ends up falling for a former client of hers and I really adore Reed. He's just precious but I'm in the third act and I'm really terrified what the third act problem is going to be so I'm just going to put it off for tonight because I don't think that 
I'm ready to deal with that. Hi guys, so it is now just after lunch on Monday. I am back from work. I've done all the photocopies of resources and everything that I need for tomorrow. I've got a meeting in about an hour and a half with the girls that I'm co-presenting with and then I'll probably have to duck back and print up all our presenter notes. But it's okay because work is literally only around the corner. And if you can hear all of that noise, someone's moving out on the floor. They, yeah, constantly moving out, lots of noise. But I decided that I'm going to read The Stop Over by T.L. Swan because I want to. I've been thinking about it non-stop for ages. That's my goal today. So yes, I know I have completely changed my TBR. And in fact, I'm going to show you the books I'm actually unhauling in at the end of this video. Because I decided while I was planning out this contemporary romance weekend reading stint to go through my TBR card. And there's a whole stack of books that I'm actually just not interested in reading. So I've taken them off and I'll show you what they are at the end. But for now, I'm going to start the stopover and just enjoy myself with reading for a little while. Okay, I'm about 36% of the way through the stopover and I'm really enjoying it. Even though it's bananas and completely full of drama, I'm just thoroughly enjoying myself. I'm beginning to think that books that open with couples meeting on a plane is my new favourite thing ever. I don't know why. Managed is one of my favourite books by Kristen Callahan, and that begins with them on a plane and it's just hilarious. So the main female character is Emily. She is traveling back on a flight from a wedding to go home and on the way she's going to New York so that she can have a job interview. While she's on the plane she ends up meeting Jim who is a really hot guy. They spend the entire flight flirting and then their plane has a layover in Boston because of weather and the two end up spending the evening together and having a really hot night and then they go their separate ways. And then a year later, Emily is back in New York and she has just gotten her dream job working for Miles Media. And it turns out that Jim is the CEO of the company because of course he is. So this is a billionaire romance. And as the CEO, Jim is a pain in the ass to work for. And Emily spends a lot of time arguing with him, rightly so. But then he has moments where he's really sweet and I'm just, I'm very curious to see where this whole thing goes because at the moment there's a corporate intrigue plot going on that Emily's found herself involved in. I'm just thoroughly enjoying myself. Hi guys, so I finished the stopover and that was a bonkers book and plot. Totally ridiculous and yeah, at times I'm like this is only happening because it's a billionaire romance but I still enjoyed it and it's really funny because I was, as I was reading it, I know it's set in New York and it's full of American things, but knowing that T.L. Swan is Australian, it, there's something about it that made me think of Australia, or at least just Australian things that were hidden in the text. And I like I can't even put my finger on it, but it's the, the kind of things that I would see if I was reading books written and set in Australia. But that's a by the by. I really enjoyed it. I had fun reading it. I didn't want to put it down, even though I had to at various points during the day. So... I'm really excited and I cannot wait to read The Takeover. I've already bought it and downloaded it and I'm hopefully going to read it during the week. So that's one to keep an eye out for in next week's wrap up. So I'm feeling pretty good about this reading vlog, especially compared to last week. So I finished four novels and one short story. The first book was The Boyfriend Effect, which I gave 3.5 out of 5 stars. Then It's Been a Pleasure, Noni Blake which I gave four out of five stars. Love Lettering by Kate Claiborne, which I gave 3.5 out of five stars. The Stopover, which I gave four out of five stars. And also the Katie Robert short for February, which I don't really rate because it's like 10 pages or less. So yes, it's been a great reading vlog. I said before I wrapped this up that I would show you the books that I'm on hauling, so I'll do that now. So I decided I was not interested in reading this, so this is going. I'm really not sure about this one, so I'm going to get rid of this as well. This is a YA fiction that's been on my shelf for ages, and I know that it's possibly got angels, but I just... I can't. Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. I'm just not all that interested. Mismatched in Manhattan is also going. And then I had two Michael Robotham books. The Other Wife and The Secret She Keeps and they're psych thrillers and I'm just not a psych thriller person at the moment. Those I actually got off the shelf at work that's the communal bookshelf in our staff room that I started last year uh, so I'm just going to put them back on there. That is everything so I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I've got some video editing to do and some stuff for work and I'm going to hopefully have this video up on Wednesday so fingers crossed I can keep to my schedule. If you've read any of these books feel free to let me know in the comments otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world you've had a wonderful week, day, etc and that you're doing well and staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.